Now, all the eyes of the whole world watching college football should have been on you last year in the semi-finals. Am I allowed to talk about this just yet? Is it? Is it? Has, has, has is you, it have is you made it? peace with this? Well, I mean, you know. Don't know if I'll ever make peace with okay, it, but you know, it, yeah. it's one of those things that uh, you, know, you know, everything happens for a reason. And you know, I was really, really proud of our team and all the things that we were able to accomplish last year to be 13 and 0, to win the ACC championship, to overcome the adversity that we faced. Uh, you know, it was a it was a wonderful group. And um, you know, as you as you you know fast forward and and you know, jump into the 24 year and uh, the players that are returning and the guys that have come in. Let me just say, I, I haven't needed a motivational speech this say, year to yeah. get them going. I mean, there's a, there's a, a great sense of urgency. Um, and, you know, our guys are excited to, to go take another step. So a lot of our um, listeners and, and viewers will be slightly unfamiliar with what happens in, in college football. The, the final playoffs are actually a relatively new phenomenon. I think maybe in the last couple of decades, really, that we've mm. only had it. Before that, there would have been a national poll of writers that decided who the college best team in college football was. Um, but recently... They've decided who the best four teams are, and they go forward to a semifinals and a final. And then that game is obviously one of the biggest sports events in America every year. Your team should have qualified by any metric that I can understand as an outsider who doesn't understand this very well. Uh, is that a correct characterization? Well, it was a it was a first time uh, ever that a team at, at our at our level had gone undefeated and not got the opportunity to compete. So. Uh, Yes, I would say that that was uh, based off of all previous experiences. You know, it was the first time that that had happened. Um, you know, obviously, as we go into this this next year, you know, the the playoffs have expanded, so that, that will never happen again. But uh, you know, it's that one was of those, great when they make yeah. a rule up to fix the problem. A- absolutely, that you're yeah. <laughs> so to to be able to say that we were the one, uh, yeah. you know, uh, but you know, it's just one of those things that. You know, it, Why did uh, they do it? What, what was the what was the explanation that people have said either publicly or privately afterwards? Uh, I mean, I you know, there's. Uh, there's probably a lot of different different uh, reasons or theories that that people presume why why ultimately it did. Um, you know, we had we had a our starting quarterback had gotten injured. Um, you know, a, a couple games to, to um, left to go in the season. Uh, we still won. You know, those those final few games and you know won a championship. But I mean, that was a that was a, a you know one event that people had pointed to in in a, in a reason why. But uh, wouldn't yeah. that have made the underdog story even better? Well, we we still had to play a couple games against a rival and yeah. in a championship, and uh, but you know it is it is one of those things that we all had to go through, okay. and uh, you know I, like I tell our players, you know you don't it doesn't always mean that it's fair, it doesn't always mean that it's right, but you know you have you have to go and you have to respond and. You know, obviously, be able to grow from it. So, uh, you know, there'll probably be a few things in their life, uh, you know, beyond football that won't be fair, or won't be right, that that they'll have to to be able to to work through. And so, uh, you try to try to capitalize on those. 